This series is a review of what I think will be on the test, starting with the AC system performance test. This is the go-to test when you have a complaint about poor cooling. Now there's many variations of the test, but this is the one I'm going to remember. The manifold and gauge stage is connected with the service ports opened. Notice the ambient temperature and the pressure of both gauges should be near equal to the ambient temperature. It checks out right here. A fan is placed in front of the vehicle to help with the ram airflow. Start the engine, fan on high speed, cold setting, on recirculation mode. On older vehicles, recirculation mode is known as max AC. Let the engine idle with the AC system on for about five to 10 minutes. A thermometer is placed as close as possible to the evaporator core. This is usually the center duct, the center duct. All doors are shut and the windows are closed and you're in a shaded area. Record the thermometer temperature and both pressure gauges. The thermometer reads 44 degrees F and the gauges read 24 PSI on the low side and 200 on the high side. The temperature on the thermometer should be between 30 degrees F and 50 degrees F. The low side should be between 20 PSI and 40 PSI. The high side should be two times to three times the ambient temperature. Our pressures are in the normal range. The AAC test does not ask you about relative humidity. What if the pressures were below the specified range? Most likely the system is low on refrigerant it could be due to a weak compressor. Also, it could be due to a restriction on the low side. Running the system low on refrigerant can cause component damage due to oil not circulating properly. What if the pressures were above the normal range? The system could have too much refrigerant, it could be overcharged. There could be air in the system, too much oil, or there could be an airflow issue at the condenser. Just like the radiator, make sure there is no debris on the condenser or dirt accumulation on the fins. If only the low side pressure is higher than normal, the fixed orifice tube could be missing or the TXV is stuck open. That's low side pressure higher than normal. If the low side is lower than normal, there could be a restriction at the metering device. This could be due to moisture in the system. It can freeze at the orifice tube, thus creating a restriction. Restriction means there is still refrigerant circulating. If no refrigerant was circulating, the test would call it plugged or maybe even clogged up. If it's clogged or plugged up, this makes the low side lower and high side higher than normal. Any restriction in the high side causes lower than normal low side and higher than normal high side. A restriction on the high side of the system can have ice build over that area. If you see ice on the condenser, that area with the ice has a restriction. Higher low side and lower high side could be due to compressor read damage. That's a lot to take in, right? <laughs> I'll end the video with two official AAC practice questions that can be found in their short study guide. Number one, with the AC system operating at an ambient temperature of 85 degrees F, the low pressure gauge reads 5 PSI and the high pressure gauge reads 105 PSI. What do these readings indicate? Is it normal operation? Do you have low refrigerant? Is there a restriction in the high side or does a compressor have broken reed valves? Notice how they did not ask about relative humidity in this question. Pretty easy one. Number two, the high side pressure in an AC system is above specs. Any of these could be the cause except an overcharge of refrigerant, a restricted airflow across the condenser, a plugged expansion valve, or a broken compressor reed valve. Tune in to video number two, we will talk about the AC compressor.